Elon Musk has just commented on what appears to be the reason for why Zachary Kirkhorn actually left Tesla. Now, the CFO leaving a company isn't usually that big of a deal unless it's the CFO of Nissan. And in that case, well, it involves criminality, law breaking, surveillance, hidden cameras inside your house, in crazy internal politics. But no one really is talking about that. They're much more interested in Tesla. Why did Zachary Kirkhorn quit as the CFO, especially considering the enormous amount of money he has been making at Tesla? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans and I'm the Electric Viking. If you're wondering what in the hell I'm talking about in reference to Nissan, it's all true. I didn't make any of that up. None of that was exaggerated. I made a couple of videos about that. In fact, just look for them on the channel if you're interested. But yeah, Nissan, wow. Unbelievable that the media barely even touched these issues when, to be honest, it's the kind of stuff that if Tesla was involved in it, it would blow up on probably every single news site for months. Anyway, Zachary Kirkhorn, he has contributed a lot to Tesla. He's the CFO, has been for a few years. Before that, he was in a financial management position at Tesla, but basically he's been at Tesla now for I think about 13 years and he's only 38 or 39 years old, meaning he went almost straight to, basically straight to Tesla after he did an internship at Microsoft. Well, Elon Musk has just weighed in on his contribution, given his opinion on probably the most likely reason that Kirkhorn left the company. He said, I would like to thank Zach Kirkhorn for his many contributions to Tesla over the course of 13 often difficult years. Much appreciated and best wishes for the next stage of your career. Now, I've got to point out, Kirkhorn doesn't need to work ever again if he doesn't want to, but he's clearly not that kind of guy. I mean, he is worth right now around 100 million US dollars. I didn't make up that figure either. That is um, actually based on primarily on his Tesla stock. He holds around 60 million US dollars in Tesla stock, but he has sold a fair bit of stock over the last four years as well. Yesterday, Kirkhorn, it was revealed, who has been with Tesla since 2010, has decided to move on. And everyone's curious. They're thinking, is he leaving because he was forced out? Is he leaving because of an argument with Elon Musk? Is he leaving because of burnout? Did he get a new job? Well, it appears as though Elon has basically disclosed the reason. He said that obviously it's difficult. The job with Tesla is challenging. A lot of people say it's 70 hours a week for a lot of them. They've got to really fully commit their lives. Now, Zach does have a family. So we don't know exactly why he left, but Musk did sort of allude to the reason when he said, well, he responded to Holmar's catalog on X, I had to remember it was called X and not Twitter, who said, sounds like he got a job offer somewhere else that he couldn't say no to. And Elon Musk said, I didn't say no, but he said, I would like to thank Zach Kirkhorn for his many contributions, but 13 years is a long tour of duty. Zach will spend time with friends and family, then do something else. So it sounds like uh, Elon Musk and Zach, yeah, I think they get along pretty well. I have a lot of respect for each other. And Musk has a good idea of what he's planning to do. They've obviously had that conversation. So Zach said he's going to spend some time with his friends, family, maybe take a year off and then move on to do something else. Be interesting to see what he does next. But clearly he doesn't appear to have a job he's going directly to right now. He's just having a bit of a break, vacation, uh, maybe an extended break, I'm going to guess, considering he really doesn't ever need to work again. Now, here's an interesting that Tesla Rati said. Analysts that followed Tesla believe that this is the case. Comments from Deepwater Asset Management managing partner Gene Munster, who has covered Tesla for years, said that working that many years for someone with the vision and the demands of Elon Musk is like working 50 years for anyone else. And one of the interesting things that Musk has mentioned a few times is his tremendous respect for Chinese work ethic. He really appreciates their work ethic. He talks about how they're up at night until two, three in the morning working hard. Um, and that's how committed they are to Tesla. And he really respects that. So clearly he think he, I wouldn't say demands from employees, but he respects when employees do that. And there's a lot of pressure on Tesla's employees to consistently perform. 
Now, of course, the culture has changed a little bit. It's not quite as demanding as it used to be when you've got tens of thousands of employees. Things have to kind of go back to a sort of normal level. Otherwise, you get a situation where you have too much turnover. Too much turnover costs your company money. Now, the data that I've read says that his net worth is $100 million, but now Bloomberg is saying his net worth is $590 million. Now, I don't know if that's true, but... If that is, I mean, it's six times more than what we'd previously thought, 600 million US dollars. What would you do with that much money? Would you keep on working forever? No, you wouldn't. The average person would say, okay, 13 years, I've done my time. Time for me to really enjoy life for a while. Kirkhorn had something to say as well. Being a part of this company is a special experience and I'm extremely proud of the work we've done together since I joined over 13 years ago. As I shift my responsibilities to support this transition, he's not leaving until the end of the year. I want to thank the talented, passionate, and hardworking employees at Tesla who have accomplished things many thought not possible. I also want to thank Elon for his leadership and optimism, which has inspired so many people. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.